Good morning. May the grace and glory of God be with you today. What a beautiful day. Happy Mother's Day, everybody. Happy Mother's Day. It is uh, such a joy to, to see you here, a little bit high, uh, to see you here on, on this special day, and, and what a special day it is. Uh, certainly, we celebrate the mothers in our lives. Uh, we are also celebrating the children in our lives, and they are going to be coming up in a little while, and, and uh, they will be today's young at heart, and I'm just delighted to have them all here and coming up. Uh, I also want to do this ahead of time, but I want to give thanks to our Sunday school teachers. Uh, do we have a, our Sunday school teachers here? Can, stand, can you stand up, please? So we have Michelle upstairs, Tara and Anna Marie and Brenda. Thank you so much for your many hours, your time of preparation, your work with the kids, and uh, uh, we're just so thankful for all that you do. A couple of announcements that I'd like to, to make. My name is Patrick Schultz, by the way. I'm the pastor here, so welcome. A uh, couple of announcements I'd like to share. In your bulletin, towards the back, you'll see us staying close, staying connected. And uh, we have some celebrations this week. Birthdays. Alice, happy birthday. You're welcome. Andrew Peterson, Jean Henschel, Carson Spindler, and Noreen Fluke. Where are you, Noreen? There you are. Happy birthday. And then anniversaries. Tim and Amanda Russert, Warren and Karen Van Dusky, Pat and Noreen Fluke. Happy anniversary to both of you. Brian and Sheila Hamm. I wish them a happy birthday or a happy anniversary, whatever might be the case, or happy anniversary and happy birthday, as is the case over here with the flukes. If you turn the page, you'll see some of the things that are happening uh, this next week. And uh, I want to point out just to point out a couple of them and then encourage you to read through this on your own. Highlight or circle the ones that you plan on attending or being a part of in some way. So we have our high school youth group meeting this next Sunday, May 21st. It'll be at 5.30 at St. James. Uh, there are a couple of meetings, the Vision of Hope. The Memorial Service Day is at St. James, and this is Monday, May 29th, 8.15 in the morning. If you've not attended that, uh, I, I encourage you to do so. Uh, we have the VFW that comes and, and presents arms, and uh, it, it's just a moving moment uh, of our time together, memorizing, memorializing those who have gone on before us, and especially those who have served in the service. We also have Bunko Night coming Thursday, May 18th, 6 o'clock at St. James. How, how many of you know how to play Bunko? A couple of you. All right. So the two of you I expect to see there. <laughs> and uh, also, I just I want to mention that we have room for one more on our mission trip. So we started with 17. We had a couple of empty spots. Carrie Langenhan from uh, St. James is going to be joining us. But we have one more spot to fill our 17. And there's an announcement here, and it gives a little bit more information. But if you'd like more, if you're thinking of being that 17th, uh, I encourage you to talk to Anna Marie or, or myself, because we'd love to have you. Uh, older teen or adult, whatever might be the case. All right. We also have our welcome card. Fill that out. Let us know that you're worshiping with us today. And Brenda. Bible study tomorrow is at 5.30. So if you come to our evening group. It'll be at 5.30 rather than 5 o'clock. All right. 
We have a grow, pray, study, and on the back side of that is, is uh, open for notes that you might want to make. I, I, I want to encourage you to keep that handy because you may want to make a note or two in our service this morning. All right. That is it for announcements. And uh, with that, I'd like you uh, to invite you to stand as you are able for our call to worship. Now, your response will be in the bolded print. Wisdom cries out in the streets. Come and listen to the words of life and love. Let us worship the God of life and wisdom. Let us pray together. Loving and caring God, we come this morning seeking wisdom and guidance for our lives. Open us to your words of life and love and truth. May we proclaim with our tongues what we know in our hearts. In this time of worship, help us more fully understand what it means to truly be a disciple, a follower of the way of Jesus, a follower of the path of wisdom. May the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Please be seated. I'd like to share with you this morning this Mother's Day prayer. We give thanks for the moms in our lives, uh, our birth mothers, our adopted mothers, our grandmothers, our neighborhood moms. If you live in, a, in a, a closer community, you know that there is a neighborhood mom that's always on the watch for your kids or us. <laughs> is that what you say? Or, or us, yeah. We need watching too. And uh, there's always that mom that has all the kids at her house and makes the cookies and banana nut bread and all this other stuff that kids just enjoy coming and, and that mom enjoys mothering. And I am thankful for each and every one of you. The moms that we have in our lives now, the moms that have gone on before us, the moms who will be, and those who so strongly desire to be a mom, but just aren't able to, for whatever reason, I give thanks for you. Lord and ruler of all that is seen and unseen, we approach your throne on behalf of the mothers whom you have entrusted with the care of your most precious little ones. We thank you for creating each mom with a unique combination of gifts and talents. We thank you for the sacrifice of self each mom gives for her children, for the late nights spent rocking a colicky infant, for the hands calloused from washing and wiping and scrubbing and mixing and baking and stirring and hugging and patting and disciplining, holding, writing, erasing, painting, and pouring. We thank you for the gift of time moms give for their kids whether it's stay-at-home moms 
working moms and moms who have been some combination of the two. We thank you for the flexibility of moms, for their tirelessness, their perseverance, and their devotion. We especially pray for single moms who must lean solely on you for the fathering of their children. We thank you that your big arms surround children who may never know their earthly father. We also pray for mothers who never had the honor of bearing children, but whose nurturing extends to the many poor and needy who cross the threshold of their lives. We pray that you give each mom strength. Help her to see in every mundane task the almighty and eternal importance you place on motherhood. Help her to understand that the most radical world-changing events may be happening in her own home. May you, Lord, be the daily bread of tired mothers, their living water and their source of spiritual and physical strength. May each mother find rest in you. And most of all, Lord, on this day in which we honor mothers, may we love and cherish the special women who have borne us, who have nurtured us, and who have prayed for our well-being. May our hearts overflow with gratitude to you, who formed and needed, knitted each of us in our mother's womb. Amen. Friends, we have as a special treat this morning for our Young at Heart time, our Young at Heart. And I enjoy, uh, invite you to sit back and enjoy what they have to share with us.
And the uh, hymn that they just played for us is Spirit of the Living God. So I'm thankful. Yeah. Friends, I want to invite you uh, to stand as you are able as we sing our opening hymn, number 476 in the hymnal, I Need Thee Every Hour. Please be seated. I am uh, very pleased to have Scott Siegman uh, reading our scripture for us this morning. Thank you, Scott. morning. Uh, today's New Testament reading is from the fifth chapter of Ephesians, verses 15 through 17. It's Paul's letter to the Christians in Ephesus, describing the Christian's life in the world. So be careful how you live, not as fools, but as those who are wise. Make the most of every opportunity for doing good in these evil days. 